It's zero suit. Does zero suit only come out in loser's bracket? No, wait, never mind. He was already playing in loser's bracket before. Yeah. All right, whatever, man. Picks and chooses whenever it's time for zero suit Say. to come out. So. <laughs> um, a whole lot of kicks. A whole lot of kicks is what we should be seeing. That was a cute exchange, though. The using the blaster and then immediately side being so that you can try and get rid of the fire hydrant. Juice being aware of what he can do to eliminate Sinji's tools is going to be super important throughout the set. Because Pac-Man is very little more than just a, a awkward boxer without any of his toys. Yeah. If he's not allowed to play with bonus fruit, if he's not able to, you know, mix up anything with trampoline, and if Fire Hydrant is taken out of commission, he doesn't have much more to his name. Oh. That being said, you know, if Zero Suit doesn't have any, like, free real estate to land on, she's not all that much. She's either. out. One of these days, people will learn not to jump in on Sinji when he has the bell in hand. The arc of that thing is immaculate for catching jump-ins. And assuming you're not playing a character who could just jump above the height of uh, Pac-Man's up smash, like, you're always in threat. A cute display of platform jumping, I guess? I juice for some buttons out here. But he's keeping the game tied, so who am I to say he's pressing the wrong buttons? Mm-hmm. Same. <laughs> <laughs> Drums in the distance. You see, this is exactly what I mean. Now, it didn't kill, but it threatened to kill. Ankle's taken out by the key, but that's not going to... That move doesn't really kill like it used to. Yeah, that'll do it. At that high of a percentage. This is a very by-the-numbers matchup for Sinji. Because he's just fighting aggression with trap laying. And he keeps a decent damage race up. with you, Devin. I don't really understand, like, what Zero Suit's going to be able to really accomplish here, because, <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm sitting what here... Are we, what are we doing here, guys? <laughs> I'm sitting here thinking, like, you know, the Juice gets his hit, and that's cool, but he gets, like, one hit and doesn't make much out of it. He's keeping things even. I mean, he's brought it back. Like, now, zero to 30, that's nothing. It's weird, because it's a very rhythmic, almost soothing-to-watch sense of neutral. Like, Sinji gets a couple of hits... Juice gets a couple of hits. Well, I mean, that's because, you know, Juice flows like a leaf flying in the wind. Hey! It's, <laughs> <laughs> it's like, Sinji, like, Juice is refusing to participate in the shenanigans that is Sinji neutral. Like, he's not letting Fire Hydrant, like, take up any active space. Juice hasn't really been in a good position to get hit by anything besides Bell. Ah, ah, oh, go. he's on! Oh, that was right from behind, too. Oof. He didn't even get to There's no say. look at his executioner in the eyes. There was no say. Or Za for that one. All right, what are we getting rid of? All right. No story. Very good option against the likes of Juice because you do not want to fight Falco on uh, story. Although the pick at the battlefield might mean that the bird's coming out one way or the other. <laughs> you think? Bird time? I a mean, bird time. both of his mains are birds. All right, well, one, is, one has a lot more feathers than the other one. and I, I think the Zero Suit has I don't, hollow bones. I don't, she might have hollow bones, <laughs> but I don't know if she has feathers. And I don't want to know if she has feathers. I, I actually don't want to know that either. And with that, the character that I'm certain has feathers is here on Battlefields. And the cutscene theater has opened its cut doors. Cutscene theater, yeah. Yeah. Oh! Say. <laughs> so. I, I, I guess while the band is on, it's not a cutscene so much as it's like a Naruto AMV. God. <laughs> also, don't don't get confused. I'm actually not a fan of Naruto at all. <laughs> you, you just know that one song? No, it's just that two of my closest friends happen to be To Kill Sage and Munoz. 
those goddamn shitters. <laughs> Say. <laughs> so. I hate them. I love them so much. Ah! It's just too funny. Oh, there's the bell again. Whoa. Wow, he, he actually jumped high enough to, like, get above the bell. And that's one of the cool things about Falco in this matchup is that, like, he has that jump height. Like, he is yeah. able to avoid the kill confirm even if he gets snipped by the bell because he's too high for the blue ghost to reach him. Yep. Truly taking full advantage of his hollow bones. Gaining as much height as possible. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I just realized that's actually going to be really good. Like, it, if, uh, well, oh, oh, all right. Not enough stun. I was going to say, like, maybe just the ability to, oh, all right, peace out. The <laughs> yeah, ability to, I can't finish a sentence. The ability to, uh, like, reflect projectiles is always a pretty potent thing versus pack. So that also uh, is a really big deal to go Falco, I could see. Say. So. I feel like the only one that's really worth ah. reflecting is um, is Bell. By the way, Pac-Man's parry animation is terrifying because the entire yeah. um, like three quarters of a circle glow. He goes from like being happy all the time to having an absolute blast, <laughs> and it's just like, bro, he, he's just like, come here. And you're like, no. <laughs> Stop. Man, at 172, please, Juice. Oh my god, he clanged with it. He checked it, which yeah. is really smart. Yeah. You can't do that. That's safe. <laughs> I mean, up till that, this percentage will kill on the base platform. He just needs to get it done. Nope. Juice expected to fly into the stage, which is fair. But, um... From what I understand, down air will will send outwards from the way that Pac-Man is facing. And that's crazy. He was still allowed to tech that at 200%. Yeah, you down. Ah. You're supposed to DI that down so you don't get hit by the laser. But um, you didn't hear it from me. Oh, that's cute. Because Juice was the last one to hit it, he didn't get caught in the, uh, the, the combo. OK. Juice has a lot of work ahead of him. Just looking at this now, y you know I said oh, that, good. and then he did it. All right, never mind. I spoke too soon. Juice doesn't want to do a lot of work. He just wants to be Hokage. <laughs> Say. So. The rising reflector cute, but it hit absolutely nothing. <laughs> oh. This is such an entertaining match. This is, a, this is a difficult game, too. Ooh! Whack. That's what you get for jumping off the ledge the entire game. Yeah, you keep that in your pocket, man. Oh, 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 oh. Pac-Man is so happy to be here. And I'm glad Sinji's happy that Pac-Man's here, because I'm sure no one else is. Say. So. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, if we reach game five, we have to like pull, pull up the song. I don't know what that song is called. That's got to be like... Someone link it to yo, me in I the Yo, I promise chat. you. That's like if you look up the, like the Naruto, like the first series, OST. That's got to be the first song. Someone, someone link it. Because that me. was in like every oh, episode. Oh, all right, Ken's on it. Bless. Because are we on the rise for going into game five? Will we see the reverse? Not yet. Right now, it's still the Sinji show. Do you think Pac-Man's theme song would actually be the theme of fighting foodons? <laughs> he throws food. It's not real food, though. And car keys. Car keys and a bell. I don't know. Also, I'm not, like, you think Pac-Man just goes home? Ah. Oh, th that's also not food. Look, the, I mean. The Galaga are, like, ugh. space bugs, so I guess you can eat them, but yeah. they're, you know, that's also not food. Oh, none of this is edible. This is terrible. Pac-Man looks like he has a migraine when you tilt his shield. Oh, assisted with the water too? Alright. Oh, I... 
That's actually really cute. And that's always been something that Juice has been, like, able to showcase in tournament is how aware he is. Like, his situational awareness is super cool. And even though Falco and Zero Suit aren't characters that can really take advantage of seeing all sorts of stuff across the stage and knowing what to do with it, he keeps himself out of hairy situations, and that's one instance where you get to take advantage of it and not a stock. Good on you, Juice. That's what I like to see from the Hokage of uh, Philadelphia. A lot of shield damage. Yeah, yeah. Once the Zare missed the uh, Fire Hydrant, I was pretty certain Senju was just going to go ahead and do something with that. One forward air, one hit later, a key end, yep, yep, yep. Learning the patterns to Sinji's pressure and like figuring out the, the unspoken huh? rules to his Mario Party mini games is super important. And especially like, not even just fighting Sinji, but fighting any Pac-Man, because they all have different styles and how they use the tools. But if you know what parts of the dance are coming up from what parts of the kit are just out, like you do yourself a world of good. Smooth movement. Keep it <laughs> Bro, I'm trying to see that <laughs> juice brings it back. <laughs> oh no. If he gets his kill right now, I'm gonna play it again. Zamir is Hamaki. You're joining at just the right time, guys. <laughs> uh, am I left? Yeah. Oh, okay, guys. Hey. Yo, I'm welcome to the Mario Party. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, it seems like Sinji is. Um, did, did he roll a good dice? Is that what happened? It's so far. It's been it's been a good set of mini games for wow. Sinji. He's doing good, but. Juice is learning the rules, and he's fighting for his right to be Hokage. So, so I have a question, <laughs> right? Has Sinji been playing aggressive? Kinda, yeah. He's been he's been pushing forward little bit by little bit, and he's been getting a ton of that. Because I, I've noticed in the, the past couple Sinji sessions I've been watching, maybe in like the past couple weeks, that he's been playing a little bit more aggressive, and I, and I kind of like it because I'm used to Sinji like just not engaging. He's getting used to figuring out how he can push his zone forward, and Pac-Man does so much better at controlling the ledge than. Like just controlling any set zone. So the interaction with Kyle. Ah! He caught it. That's. <gasps> he's None. just moving. All right, he's actually moving. Yeah, yeah. Did you start out this? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> oh my God! You're not doing this right now. Yes, you're yes, not yes. Doing this, right now. <laughs> this is not happening. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't happening. <laughs> this isn't happening. He's used his side beat jutsu <laughs> to gain the upper hand in the set, and now the score is 2 1 in favor of Sinji. I've been drinking too much for this. <laughs> You've been drinking just a duck for this. Oh my god. What is happening? Okay, um. I mean, good stuff by Juice. <laughs> I mean, it looked like it was pretty much in Sinji's favor, but uh, I just got here. But hey. Okay. Oh my god. Go, okay, going back on FD. So, so what would you say the flow of the set? How the flow of the set has been going? <laughs> <laughs> the set. <laughs> Damn, Bar's trying to bring the professionalism to me. <laughs> I was not prepared for that, man. All right, Sinji doing the Sinji thing. Oh, okay. He's playing with items. Items on high. Juice not used to that. They don't can, play with items on in Philadelphia. Can someone clip me playing the music over just Juice and just tweet <laughs> that it? That was beautiful. And tag us. I'll retweet it. So oh, can we talk about how the um, CSS the side B is clanking through the black scene? Yeah, Juice has been trying to Zare through everything, and the Zare hasn't been working out. But now that he's figured side B is working, yeah. we're gonna see it for the rest of the set. Yeah, because he's not he's not taking the mix that you usually take when it comes with the, the Galaxian, and it's kind of clanking and then nullifying the hitbox afterwards. Like, it's been a very strange match to see go back and forth. 
But Juice is figuring his way through it. Ooh! Okay. Ooh. Get some stun of your own! Yeah, yeah, good. Yeah, good, yeah. <gasps> <gasps> okay! That, uh, that air dodge read coming out from Juice. I mean, did he air dodge the ledge or was it just... That was just he was just catching him at the end of the, um... Like when you ride the, the line of pellets. Yeah, wow. Good stuff by Juice. Uh, and, yeah, there we go. And yeah, we got the up smash. That's been Sinji's, like, tried and true this entire tournament. Everyone's trying to jump in on that bell, and I don't know why. Like, yeah. he hasn't done that every week since this game came out. You know what it is? Because Ultimate kind of teaches you to jump in on things, and people are getting caught by bell now. It's kind of like relearning the matchup and not being an idiot. But, yeah. I feel like every, every fighting game that's been released in, like, the past decade has simultaneously taught people that jumping in is cool because you get reward off of it, but then also jumping in is the best way so you, you can get blown up by oh, yeah, any of number of anti-airs. Oh yeah, of course. It's like kind of like one of those high-risk, high-reward options. Uh, especially against Pac-Man, when you're jumping in on Bell, it's kind of a head-to-keyboard moment. Like, why would you do that? Right but, now, it seems like Juice is doing pretty well. Yeah, it's, it's ta he's taken a bit of a beating to get to this point, but... Like, it's paying off in dividends because now it's showing that, like, he knows how to fight through all the tools. He's keeping the damage, like, in, like, a decent... It's not too bad of a deficit when he is in a deficit. And if anything, he's not giving up too much stage control. Although, Game 4 bringing us on uh, FD is definitely not the greatest. Yeah. Um, I'm guessing he probably banned something like PS2 Kalos. I remember seeing Kalos being one of the bans. I don't remember what the second one was. Yeah. So... It just seems like Juice is getting into Sinji's zone where it's hard for him to kind of set up his nonsense. And and he kind of figured out a tool to kind of nullify some of those items with the side B. And also breaks Sinji's zone with the side B. And the Zare. So. Oh, that was a whole mess of stuff. <laughs> All right. All right. That was hilarious. Would you say you enjoy seeing Sinji throw items at people? Like, like them too. I <laughs> <laughs> See, I, I like when there's just like a whole mess of stuff on the screen that's going on. Like, I get entertained by like the rude Goldberg neutral that Sinji's gonna set up, where it's like there's all sorts of little things he knows how to puppeteer around. Like from the angles of the fire hydrant to how he can string together hits yeah. with the items. But then, on the other side, I like seeing how people adapt to that because they're like, all right, they know he's gonna do this to get that, so I gotta figure out how to stop that. So like one thing that Juice has been doing now, he's going for down angled forward tilt on the Hydrant, and he knows that that after a Zare is just enough to pop it out of the way. And if Sinji short hops, he gets caught by it. Yeah, and especially in a set like this, I'm not sure how many times um, he's played Sinji, but that level of adaptation, especially against a Pac-Man player of Sinji's caliber, um, is pretty impressive. So, Like, I can't imagine these two have played too often. And with that being said, he gets hit with the bell, point blank, uh, with the forward smash. No more. Yeah. Oh, oh no. Oh my god. Damn. <laughs> he must return to the village hidden in the Pennsylvania. <laughs> Hit, um, hidden left. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> you know, I'm not even going to start. Um, hey guys. No more Naruto. We're done for the That's day. Cool. Um, yeah, I mean, pretty good set. I mean,